Hello everyone and welcome to Steelbook Obsessed. My name is Jake and I have some steelbooks to show off for you. There have been 71 steelbooks that have been released so far this year in 2024. It's like, it's May. Uh, it's not halfway yet, but it's close enough. I had to make a top 10 list so far of my favorite steelbooks. There have been a lot of great ones coming out and I just kind of want to showcase them. I just wanted a reason to do it. So here we go. Before I get to my list, which is in no particular order, I will save that towards the end of the year. Make sure you follow, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, all that fun YouTube jargon. But without further ado, let's get to it. Um, like I said, this isn't in any in particular order, but I will go with this one first because it was the first Steelbook released in 2024 and it has kind of left an imprint in my brain. That is The Raid Redemption. The main reason why this is on the list is because of the amazing embossing that is on that building. Looks absolutely phenomenal. The spine looks sharp. We have a nice picture on the back. On the inside, we have images on the discs, which always goes a long way for me. And then uh, we have some uh, brutalness on the inside as well. Just a very solid release that really stands out because of the embossing on here. Some of the best embossing that we've had this year. Possibly the best? I would say it's a tie. I say one tops it a little bit more than the others. We'll get that, we'll get to that shortly, let me tell you. The Raid Redemption. Trying to think, which one should I go to next? Um, I'll do this one kind of lower on the list. Even though this isn't numbered, it'll still go lower on the list. And I don't know if it'll make it on my top 10 of the entire year, specifically because these steel books weren't, they're not all the way new. They got released in the UK a couple of years ago, but I'm very happy that we finally got the Mondo Marvel steel books, folks. This one I bought from Walmart. It's very cool to see the Walmart packaging on here of Doctor Strange. I've not opened it yet, but you can kind of see what it looks like right there. I do have one that I've had for a couple of years because it came out in the UK and I just had to have it because this looks so gorgeous of Guardians of the Galaxy. This continues to be gorgeous. I'll show you what it looks like coming out of the slip too. There we go. Get that phone glare out of there. Here it is in all of its glory. I think that looks so sharp. There are so many texture pops, even though there's not texture pops. It's just gloss pops. Should we say gloss pops? I like gloss pops. Well, here is the inside right here with the Milano. Again, another gloss pop, it looks nice. And I already popped the discs out here just to show you the inside. But every single ounce of a Mondo release is just artwork that you love to stare at. And I want more of these released in the States because I don't have a lot that I went and got when they originally came out. So I like give me Infinity War, give me Civil War, give me Endgame. There are some Marvel movies that I absolutely love that I would love to have and add to my collection. Or there's ones like Doctor Strange where I think the movie is just okay, but the artwork on this sucker really spoke to me. It's that, you know, old school Marvel comics love that I just wanted to have. I, I, I think this image is absolutely mind blowing, folks. So a few times in this video, I'm going to show off what steelbook protectors I use. I get asked the question a lot. So for this next steelbook, actually for the Raid Redemption even, I'll show off my Malco protector. They do such a nice job making sure that your steelbooks don't get scratched or anything. And what I like about them, I collect the J cards. You can take the steelbooks out very nicely and leave the J cards in here. Kind of like with my next pick, which is Bone Tomahawk, number one. I was shocked that this movie got a seal book. I love this movie. And the main reason why it's on my list right now is because if you look at this movie, you just think, oh, it's a Western, whatever. And the marketing of this movie was very Western heavy. Um, it makes me laugh. <laughs> it makes me laugh for any old senior citizen Western fan to pick this up and for them to just know the ride they're gonna go on. It's, <laughs> if you know anything about Bone Tomahawk, you know that there is some gruesomeness to it. Um, there is like a third act twist that goes into a different genre. I guess that's all I'll say. I, will, I won't be 
super spoilery there, but it makes me so happy to just be like, oh, hey, a Western with Kurt Russell. Okay, I'll take this. And then they just go for a ride. And I, I wish I was there to watch them go for that ride. But here is the other Malco protector. And like I said, the card just stays in here. This one doesn't have the lip of the J card. It's just a backer, but it's still nice to have on here. And it's nice that I can just like pull this off with ease. Well, that is the next one, Bone Tomahawk. Let's go into another one. Let's go into the Lionsgate realm, shall we? They've had a few really nice releases. Um, I don't have them with me right now, but I will show them right here. They've had the Red 2 film collection. They've had reprints with slip covers on Rambo, First Blood, and Last Blood. Um, they've had a couple more, and they have all been very, very strong. Um, they've had Kickboxer, which was very nice. Didn't have the slip cover. Wish it did. If it did have a slip cover, that would probably be on this list here. But one Lionsgate specific one that I do want to show off is right here. Uh, it's Cutthroat Island. Again, Malco Protector also makes slip cover protectors for the slip cover steel books, which is a very nice touch. But here is Cutthroat Island, and I think. This imagery just looks striking. Like I've heard very mediocre things about this movie, if I'm being honest, but, and I haven't seen it, so I, have no, I can't talk about that. But just to see the skull and crossbone, just going full pirate and looking at the amazing artwork that's on display as well. Again, we have a couple of like shiny bits on the swords. That looks so, so good. Um, with any Lionsgate print, you see the first pressing on it's the opening of the spine. This is the spine. What do you call this? I've never had a good word for it. If you have one, let me know because I am at a loss for words. Here is the spine of Cutthroat Island. Just everything, when when Lionsgate gets a steelbook release right, it just knocks it out of the park. And this is that one. This is my favorite one from them this year with the classic slipcovers. Can't wait to see what the rest of the year has in store. But we got the compasses here. I'll even take the discs out because another good thing about Lionsgate Steelbooks is that their artwork is just overflowing. Like look at that skull and the smoke on the candle. It makes you want to take everything out just to look at every ounce of beauty on this artwork. Um, I, very safe to say that this release will probably be in my top 10 of the year just because I'm so flabbergasted that they put this movie and gave it this amazing treatment. So yeah, Cutthroat Island. And while we're on Lionsgate, I will continue to go down a new sub line from Lionsgate, and that is their Vestron video titles. Um, they made one for Maximum Overdrive already. They also had a steelbook for another release that I'll show off here that I can't remember that I have, and I can't remember it, but here it is. But that's not what I'm talking about. That one's a good one too. But this one, they, all the Vestron steelbooks I've been a fan of, this one, breathtaking for me, breathtaking. I'm gonna keep this one in the Malco Protector because did you know that Malco Protectors also come in this variety? Yes, like the long boy form. I have this on display at all times with my uh, enamel pins right over here. But this release of shivers, I mean, come on. This picture is so haunting to me. I like simplicity in my steel books, and this is just one strong image, and that's what I love. Another thing that I love, very much so, is the inside of this, because it has the classic poster artwork that's on the slip cover, um, and it's just, I don't know, it's so nice. Everything about this is very strong. There are a couple more Lionsgate, or uh, Vestron Video steel books coming out that I am definitely looking forward to as well. If they wanna re-release all of their Vestron video titles on Steelbook, I would be a happy boy. I have about 15 slipcover Lionsgate Vestron video releases, um, but I want more. Like that uh, Worm Girl, something, it's a long title, something of a Worm Girl or something like that. I don't have that one. So I'm very excited to have that and add it to the collection as well. Let's see here. Here's here's an odd one. Here's a, a different one that looks pretty bare bones when you first lay your eyes on it. And I, I'm taking I'm I'm taking a couple things off because I will show you why I like it so much. Major League, very bare bones. 
Like they didn't even put any embossing on the locker. I have a Breakfast Club one back there that does that for this. I do like Major League. It's a very solid movie and it looks like a locker and you know, the inside does the exact same thing, has the locker look to a T. It's nice. The main reason why this one is on the list right now is because of these. They put magnets on their steel books. You get an entire sheet when you buy this sucker and you can just put them anywhere you want on the steel book. Okay, <laughs> that's giving me a little OCD. I don't want, there, baseball guy is going right here. I don't want it to cover any of the artwork, but I also love like being able to put it wherever I want to. We have hats for bats right there. We have the classic Vaughn wild thing, logo jersey. Speaking of wild thing, we got the glasses right here. And yes, if you've seen this movie, you know this image so, so much. Um, I loved it a lot as a kid, but here it is with it on there. There's also another uh, magnet, but I decided to put that magnet on my freezer outside because I, I don't know, magnets are so cool and you can do whatever you want with them. Stick them to any magnetic surface you want to. If you don't want to put it on the steel book, you don't have to. But I love that they did this. I've never seen another major release do anything like this. And I'm really hoping that more studios do this. I wish, this is Paramount, right? Paramount's coming out with a, a Anchorman 4K. It would have been so nice to get an Anchorman 4K steelbook with some quotable magnets on there. Oh, would have loved it. Or the South Park or Team America. The, none of those are coming out with steelbooks. Wait six months, come out with steelbooks with magnets. I'll rebuy them again because I love those movies and I love this idea. I'm just glad you did it in the first place. All of the Malco protectors that I've shown you, I'm gonna leave a link in the description to go to the website to see if you want them for yourself. Just because I I enjoy them quite a bit. I like the added extra protection of everything. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in that, go look down there. But let's continue on with the list, shall we? What? That has been six. We have four more to go. Let's go. Let's do... Let's do these. Um, most recently, Disney, Marvel, Star Wars came out with a lot of great looking steel books. Um, again, these are in my Malco. Obi-Wan Kenobi, they look sharp and I've already made another video. So if you wanna see all of them unboxed, you can go ahead and do so. But I will showcase my favorite. Here is Andor as well. Probably the most basic looking steel book, but I've heard it's the best show. So I do need to check that out at some point. We have Moon Knight, which I thought was going to be my favorite, and it's a very strong steel book. It's just, there's one that kind of came out swinging, and I was a little shocked that it went this hard. And that is Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I think all I knew was this image, and I thought, okay, that, that looks fine. And I saw the back, and it, it's very, very cool. But it's the transition period, people. It's the transition swipes that make this sucker go above and beyond for me. I love the way that that looks together at, as one piece. On the inside here, we have, Disney does a great job in general with putting awesome artwork on their releases. This is just the shields, but it does the job. There's nothing really behind here, it's just more setting. But there's Falcon and Winter Soldier. And every single one of these releases also comes with art cards, which is a very nice added touch, especially for a major studio. That's more usually saved for like a boutique crowd. And this is also uh, um, this is also artwork that is done by Artila Sarska, who did artwork for every single one of these releases. So good for him, good for everything. Continue to roll out all of these Marvel and uh, Star Wars shows. I know I'm a fan. I'm hoping you guys are too. Um, give me a Hawkeye one. I liked the show Hawkeye so, so much. It was Christmas vibes all over the place. I would watch that in my annual rotation every couple of years or so. It's six episodes, it goes down so smooth. Next batch, please give me Hawkeye. That would be very, very great. And it'll give Jimmy, Jeremy Renner some more money after his surgery. It's just a feel good story, people. Let's make it happen, Disney. But next up, we have three more. These are three of the more excited releases that I have this year. That's probably why my brain kind of did this. The Marvel Disney ones were good too, the Star Wars, all that stuff. But here's one where I saw it in images and I'm like, oh, Okay, whatever. But then you get it in your hands and you're like, oh, okay, let's go. And that is Wonka. Wonka goes insanely hard with their embossing and debossing. Look at this. 
Every single one of the chocolates is popping. And there's even pops inside of some of them, embossing and debossing. It just looks so, so nice. I love it. I love a conceptual steel book as well. I like simplicity. I like concepts come to life. On the inside, I really wish that this would have had more artwork than it does on the discs, but every ounce of this, this reminds me of like the I Spy books that I would read as a kid. I, I, I just want to look for different things in there every time I pop this sucker open. Um, movie was okay. I'll, I'll throw out my letterbox review here. Why not? I'll throw out, I'll keep, I'll continue to throw out my letterbox reviews for every one of these that I've uh, seen or at least logged. Um, I've seen every single one of these for the most part, except for Cutthroat Island, except for a couple of them. But Wonka, pretty good movie, amazing steelbook. That's what I love to see. More embossing, please. I guess that's what I'm trying to do in this entire video. I'm a huge proponent of embossing on steelbooks. It makes the release just that much more classy. Make it happen. Okay, we got two more left. Let's do the one that uh, I just recently watched. Yeah, let's go. Let's go with this. Um, people have ever since I've been on like the TikTok, Instagram, YouTube side of things, people have been talking to me every now and again about the crow, about how I need to see the crow. I do these videos on TikTok Live where I go and look at my collection, and every single time I do that, somebody asks for the crow. I wasn't able to say that I had it until now. Look at this amazing 4K steelbook from Paramount. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. The slipcover is very nice. The Walmart edition has been sold out ever since pre-orders started, but I'm okay with this one. I'm okay with the mass, the mass steelbook that we get here. The imagery just looks very sharp. I will open it up again to kind of showcase the raindrops that are on here. There we go. We got some nice individual like sparkle specks in the rain, which looks very, very nice. The disc, barely worth showing, not that great. The inside though is the imagery of the crow, which looks very, very nice. And this is a dark blue. I don't know if you can tell in this video. Just, just classy. This is a classy release from Paramount. And I watched the movie. What a fun ride this movie was. Oh my God. Um, very 90s, but it's like a mix of emo and grunge in 94 when they didn't know like what was gonna really like take over. Um, just a very unique movie and I enjoyed it quite a bit. But there's one steel book that I'll go over right now. We're, we're on to the last one that when it got announced, I immediately knew that was going to my collection because I love this movie so, so much. And the fact that I got a bomb ass steel book, even though it's only Blu-ray, I'm okay with that. It is Walk Hard, the Dewey Cox story. Look how hard this steelbook goes. I love it so, so much. This is the best spoof movie to come in the past 15 years. This and I would say, does uh, Chippendale Rescue Rangers count as a spoof movie? If it does, they're pretty on par. I still would give the edge to Walk Hard though. Nonstop laughs with this sucker. Love it so, so much. There are some texture pops again, some glossy goodness, some gloss pops. <laughs> TM or whatever, yeah, gloss pops. I like saying that now. And on the inside, it's also very nice. The discs look like records, which is very cool, but there's two different cuts of the film on these. The first one is just the regular one, Walk Hard, the Dewey Cox story. But here's the second one, and this is the unrated version, the unbearably long self-indulgent director's cut. Very, very cool. I still need to watch this cut, and I definitely will, um, because I love this movie so, so much. But when you pop the discs out, there's some more goodies inside. Isn't that so, so nice? Oh my God, I, I, I'm I, a sucker for this movie. Spoof movies are normally very, very terrible. And the fact that this one goes as hard as it does and is consistently hilarious. And the fact that like this, besides the inside, this does not showcase that at all. Um, I don't know, I, I absolutely love it. There's a shot of the spine too, very, very nice. You got an image right there from the original poster artwork. I just like this release from top to bottom. And if you look at the J card here, there are so many special features on this sucker as well. This this release is just loaded. It's so, blew my hat off when I first saw that they announced this and that it was coming out. 4K would have made it like super ultra. I know you don't need comedies, a lot of comedies on 4K, there's not a lot to showcase, but I'm a proponent of putting anything out in 4K that you possibly can, because um, I don't know if this will ever get a 4K. So if it would have gotten one with this release, I would have been super happy. I'm still super happy with the Blu-ray release for Walk Hard, the Dewey Cox story. And I'm super happy with all the steelbooks that I showed off. 2024 is off to a very 
strong start in my opinion, excuse me. Um, let me know your thoughts on the state of steelbooks in the comments because I want this to be an open thread discussion. What releases have you picked up? Which ones are you super high on? Which ones are you super low on? Let me know. Love talking some steelbooks. And uh, yeah, hope you like this. I will continue to kind of make this top 10. I'm going to try to do it every few months or so. There's still a lot of steelbooks on the books ready to come out. And I'm ready to have them in my hands and talk to you about them. So if you like steelbooks, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And until next time, I'll see you.